What's up, bye guys? It's Al here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at the game console project I've been working on for a while now. It has officially become known as the Alcon Project, short for the Al Magma Gaming Console Project. It is a complete redesign. Everything except for I think the audio system that's in it is a complete and utter redo, redesign, remake of everything. Um, I'm not going to go into like the very deep systems that are in it the logic itself but i am going to go over how the system works for a basic understanding of it in the future i might make a video showing how to make cards and stuff like that but the premise is it's a console which has the screen audio and all this stuff set up and you can plug these cartridges like this one into the back to play animations music games stuff like that going over the console itself there are a number of switches which you can see now um, the screen is its normal size, an 8x15, which is what was on the original. And if I actually hit switch 1, we do get a kind of game console or game pad, which in the original it was stuffed over here, and some people complained that it blocked the screen or it was hard to look at the console and the, uh, the screen and the controller at the same time. So now it's down here, and you should have pretty decent access to everything you need. Um, once again, there is a light which kind of tells you when the card is in. These two switches are extra inputs for the cartridge to use. Um, if you need to do, I guess you can say, like on-off switch. If you need to have a boot-up switch, you have a boot-up switch. If you need a reset button for the card itself, you can use that. This far right button is a override button it completely overrides the screen turns it blank it's if you have to reset pixels or anything like that you can do it manually through this button um, once we walk around to the back we'll actually see the pins one of the biggest changes you might notice is the white pins originally in the old versions it was four pins and they used a binary system choose which row you wanted that caused a lot of issues and even though the binary system was a lot more frame friendly th to the fact that it actually eliminated a bunch of springs that the cartridge needed to use. This design is a lot faster and a lot more stable. So actually looking at the pins, the blue pins once again are data pins for the screen. The white selects which columns you want to update. The yellow is an override similar to the button that was on the front used if you need an animation setup where you have to have a completely black screen in between each animation you can use that to completely override the screen pink will actually set up your audio each one of these is a type of audio you can use I think it's bass synth and I forget the other one was like bop or something like that I forget what the green one's called but you just select your notes that you want to get these here and if we want this one I think that one's base I think is what I have that set up to yep so those are what those pins are um I think I covered all those oh, I almost forgot the yellow pins the yellow pins are the input or the output I should say that go to the cartridge they are set up for the game pads over here and the extra Outputs which are on the front of the case are actually over here for these two Which go into the Cartridge if I can get over here. There we go. So there those are all your pins are set up here And you have the caution tape showing where they should line up There's also this switch in the back, which is simply a maintenance hatch You ever have to get inside of this you never really should But it's there just in case if you ever do get trapped in there is a switch here, which opens that door. So now that I've shown pretty much everything there is to show about how this works, um, without going into too much detail, I am going to actually attach this card. This is a simple test card that I've been using. Uh, nothing overly complex. I haven't really had a chance to make any nice cards or any animations, any music like that. It's kind of just been testing making sure everything works I'm gonna put away the controller because I don't need that for this 
and this cartridge uses this switch to turn it on and you can see it just simply animates across the screen and it dun -dun 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 -dun, as it does it so that does nothing for this card and that's what I meant by an override switch it defaults all the pixels to off dun -dun 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 -dun. hopefully you can hear that decently I'm gonna get closer so yeah and it actually clears the screen when it turns off if I didn't use the uh, automatic clear on it apparently I didn't shut that door but that's the basic console concept down if I could speak properly I am actually gonna break into this card to show what's in here there we go and I can't fit because of that there we go and here you can just see you have access to the pins as you need them and this over here is the kind of control setup which is the gamepad and then there's those two extra inputs I was talking about and here's all your outputs the black one doesn't really do anything it's hooked up to the sensor which tells if the card is attached um, it was a dead pin I had so I just defaulted it to being that later I could set it up or if someone has a cartridge that needs that extra pin they could set it up and it wouldn't be hard to change the actual console to fit this card if it ever needed that pin used but other than that I think that's just about everything there is to do it is up on the Steam Workshop if you do want to play around with it uh, there are no cards for it yet I do plan on making some cards and some animations and maybe some games in the future but I haven't had a chance to I've mostly been focusing on getting this ready for release there are no empty cards right now it just comes with the card that's on it right now but you can simply just take the stuff out of it and save it and reuse it as you need if you want to make cards for it and if you know how to do it with all the logic and all that feel free to do it and if you do make any cards feel free to upload them um, as your own because at that point you're making your own card yes it is for the system but it is its own at that point I do want to I really would like to see a lot of people use this and make some cards for it I have been talking to a few people who do a lot of logic in scrap mechanic um, a few of them know about this uh, but I don't think I really have anyone that's completely on board with the project yet but I do have some ideas for what I want to do with it in the future and I do plan on doing them so I think that's really all there is to talk about for this it's ready for launch it's ready to be used I just have to make cards for it as well as if some other people want to make cards for it they can if they wish to so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here because I think that is all there is so if you did enjoy the episode please leave a like if you have any suggestions for future episodes or suggestions for cards that you think I can add to this please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the channel enjoy what I'm doing please subscribe it helps out a lot and if you'd like to go above and beyond, please share the channel with a friend. It helps it a lot. Helps the channel get a lot more exposure. Helps the channel grow faster. And just helps out in general. So if you do so if you do enjoy, please leave a like. Until next time, this has been Al playing some more scrap mechanic, finishing the Alcon project and getting it ready for upload. Until next time, peace.